guys, got another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at BotCon 2012 box set Metal Hawk. Uh, this guy is a repaint, and we are again taking a look at another figure in our series of a repaint of an original mold, but not looking at the original mold yet. Um, this guy is re a repaint of uh, Tiger. I keep wanting to say Tiger Hawk, but that's not his damn name. Thunderwing. Well, I don't know why I want to say Tiger Hawk. It's Thunderwing. Anyway, um, this is a repaint of Thunderwing. Uh, it's a very cool, sleek looking jet. Uh, very cool colors. Uh, Thunderwing, Thunderwing. Metal Hawk was a uh, pretender in Super God Master Force. Uh, he's a very rare figure, even in Japan and out of Japan. Uh, to get the original pretender, I do not have him, so I cannot uh, compare him. But uh, he does have landing gear. And they are on little wheels, and it actually does roll fairly well. Uh, the missile launchers do shoot. If I actually hit the launcher. And they do have another little gimmick, which we can get to in uh, when we get into robot mode. But yeah, it's just this futuristic jet. Um, I forgot what these are called. Gullards? Something like that. Uh, canards. And it was a weird name. Um, and this actually pops off. And he has this little drone, and uh, the original Metal uh, Thunderwing, who was also a pretender, uh, also had this little drone. But uh, just clips on, two pegs, two holes here and two pegs under here, and just clips on. Uh, but yeah, it's just a little drone you can launch off and he can fly around. Um, and it does just clip right back on. Um, when you do take this off, it's easier if you make sure the landing gear, if the landing gear is up, it's really hard to get off. But uh, you just fold the wind landing gear up, fold these landing gear down on the knees. Well, what will, will, will be the knees. Uh, go ahead and pop these off for now. You just need, need the missiles. So yeah, let's put those off to the side for now for transformation. So yeah, let's get this guy transformed. Um, you can leave this on for transformation, it's fine, it doesn't get in the way or anything. Um, it's actually, this guy is fairly simple to transform. You can go ahead and separate the wings, just like that. Um, fold this. Actually, not yet. Come over here, and what we want to do is lift this whole section up to get at the legs. And then you, it's on, this black piece is on a double hinge. It's usually bent up in the body like that but you just fold it back down on the body and you can actually bend this up and out of the way now and just make sure that's all collapsed down and you can also disconnect this and fold this up and out of the way for now uh, that folds first, you can also take these wing bits and fold them flat and then fold this bit along the back so it looks like that. So again, you know what, let me do that again. Because that wasn't very clear. Fold these wing bits flat first. Fold this up and out of the way. Fold the wings up. Fold this bit back on the back of the figure. Make sure these legs are down. Which they... There we go. Yeah, they don't. I thought they locked. They actually. Whoop, I just hit the camera. <laughs> they actually don't lock. Uh, come down here at the feet. Split the feet. It's actually really stiff. Fold the torso. Oop. These uh, flaps, the side skirts are movable. Just make sure they stay out of the way. I don't want to show the face yet. Hands are just there, and they bend at the elbow. So let me just get this guy standing up. So now for the big reveal of the face, and we just take this and fold this down, and he's got a human face. So this was kind of the big stink about this figure, about at BotCon, was that they gave him a, because uh, the pretenders were uh, humans that could turn into robots, even though the figures were 
humans that have robots inside them. Uh, in the show, they actually were humans, and then they could turn into robots. Um, they had like another form. They had a robot form. So they gave him his human form face. So it doesn't really look like him. Hey, but it's a human face, so you get the idea. Uh, a lot of people don't like it. I don't really mind it, even though technically he shouldn't look like that because he should look like his human form then. But whatever. Wings fold out. You can actually fold the wings in if you don't like them like that, too. For the guns, you can either store them back where they originally were. This is where they originally were in vehicle mode. And I just shot it. And just have them up off the wings like that. You can have him hold them in both hands, just normally. I can get them in his hands. I'm having difficulties. You can have them hold them, just wheel them like that, or you can actually take them, or you can actually take them and you can combine them together. As uh, you notice, there's two clips, two pegs right here, and two holes right here, and you can just line them up, peg them together. does not like holding his guns. And you can give him one super gun, like that, if you so desire. Um, you can also kind of have it like, be like that. So he kind of has like a target master system going on, um, even though it's really not target masters. Put those off to the side for now. But yeah, that's, always, that's an option you can do with the guns, which is appreciative. I appreciate it. Uh, as far as articulation, Wow, it is really hot in here and I'm sticking to everything. Head swivels. It's not on a ball, just uh, swivels around 360 degrees. Shoulders are on a ball. Uh, they go all the way around, but you gotta watch out for the backs of the wings. These bits up on the shoulders actually rotate. So if you want, you can point them out, point them up, whatever you want to do. I uh, usually just leave them as they fall. Uh, upper bicep swivel. Bends at the elbow, very stiff. Rotates at the wrist. Nothing at the waist because of the transformation. Ball jointed hips. Bends at the knee, a good 90 degrees. Nothing forward because of the kneecap. Uh, and the feet does, don't pivot or anything, but they do point in for the transformation. That doesn't really count. Um, you can also take the, the drone off now if you want. It's up to you. Um, the, the regular transformation, you just leave it on there, but if you want to have him fly around or whatever, you know, you can't take it off. So, if you don't already have this figure, I wouldn't suggest seeking it out because it is in the box set, and the box set stuff does get expensive when you piece it out. I mean, I don't know what this guy goes for, but I would imagine 75 to 100 isn't, wouldn't be unheard of because breaking up the sets are always more expensive than keeping the sets whole. And this set was 300 and some odd dollars for five fig six figures with a Voyager. Go in. This guy does not like holding his weapons. There we go. Everything on this guy is very stiff. Very tight. Uh, so yeah, I do dig him, even though a lot of people don't dig him. Because the aesthetic choices people that uh, Fun Pub made. I still kind of dig him. I don't mind the human face. Even though a lot of people, it bugs a lot of people, it doesn't really bother me. And I think it's a, it's probably the closest representation of Metal Hulk I will ever see because I don't think I will ever own a G1 Metal Hulk unless I come into a lot of money because they are expensive. Uh, but yeah, this has been the video review for BotCon 2012 box set Metal Hulk.